From Lego Millennium Falcon toys fetching as much as $5,000 to a Star Wars toy so rare it was once listed on eBay for $53,000, we take a look at 10 of the most expensive Star Wars toys. Double telescoping figures, $2,000 to $18,000. Darth Vader is one of the greatest villains in cinematic history, so of course his action figure would be very much in demand. This was one of the original Star Wars action figures to be made, and since few people thought to save these figures, they are quite scarce. This figure featured a unique play feature. Vader's lightsaber was made of two pieces of plastic and it extended to look like he was preparing his lightsaber for battle. It's very difficult to find one of these figures in mint condition, but if you do find one, you can expect to pay thousands of dollars for this culturally significant toy. Loose figures alone are valued at $2,000. Lego Millennium Falcon When it was released nearly 10 years ago, this holy grail of Star Wars Lego sold for a whopping 500 US dollars but today it regularly sells for 10 times that. It's the second largest Lego set ever released and the largest Star Wars set. Multiple Millennium Falcon Lego sets have been released since this one, including the Force Awakens one currently in stores, but they are nowhere near as valuable because they aren't nearly as rare. Empire Strikes Back Medical Droid, $10,000. At the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back, Luke is gravely injured and almost freezes to death on the icy planet of Hoth. Luckily, Han Solo comes to his rescue and once again saves Luke's hide. Back at the Echo Base, a crack team of medical droids heal Luke, including FX-7. Someone must be a big fan of the medical droid FX-7 because a 1980 Palatoy figure of the robot sold for over $10,000 at an auction last year. Unpunched Boba Fett, $27,000. The mysterious bounty hunter known as Boba Fett is undoubtedly one of the most popular Star Wars characters of all time, if not the most popular. A Palatoy Boba Fett figure mint on card with an unpunched hole sold at an auction earlier this year for a staggering $27,000 US dollars. This Boba Fett figure was in perfect condition and the hole on the box used to hang toys on store shelves still had the tiny piece of cardboard in it. Sideshow Collectibles Obi-Wan Kenobi, $2,000. Premium format figures are all the rage with collectors today, but they are certainly not cheap. This legendary scale Obi-Wan Kenobi figure by Sideshow Collectibles retailed for an insane 2,000 US dollars. The figure has hand-stitched clothing and stands over three feet tall. It is so detailed, you might not even realize that it is a toy and not a real-life Jedi Master. This figure is certainly not something kids would be playing with. Only 200 were made, and because it is no longer in production, it can sell for as much as $2,000 on the secondary market. Yak Face $2,300 Here's a Star Wars character you have probably never heard of. Yak Face is the favorite character of exactly no one, but that doesn't mean his toy isn't worth a ridiculous amount of money. This figure was never released in the USA. Instead, it was only released in Canada, Australia, and Europe. Yak Face briefly appeared in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. It was the last figure produced by Kenner due to declining sales, so it was simply shipped out to stores and quickly forgotten. Vlix from Star Wars Droids, $6,000. This rare Star Wars figure is of a character you probably didn't know existed, and even if you have heard of him, you probably don't care. Vlix Oncard was the villain in the critically reviled Droids cartoon. The rarity of this figure and the fact that it was only released in Brazil make it worth a ton. It also has the distinction of being one of the only valuable toys based on something other than the original trilogy of Star Wars films. Despite the character's lack of popularity, the figure is still worth about $6,000 if it is still in the package. Unpainted Boba Fett Prototype, $17,000. Dan Caldwell, the founder of MMA clothing company Tapout, 
bought this rare prototype figure. He paid an absurd $17,000 for it. It is one of only a few rocket-firing Boba Fett prototype figures known to exist. A Boba Fett action figure with a rocket-firing missile jetpack was set to be released to coincide with the character's appearance in The Empire Strikes Back. However, the toy was canceled because of its danger to children. The toy was pulled for being a choking hazard, but the prototypes are now worth thousands. Rare Rocket-Firing Boba Fett $50,000 this rocket-firing Boba Fett is believed to be worth even more money than the previous entry. Kenner canceled the release of the figure after a child choked and died on a projectile from a Battlestar Galactica toy. A Star Wars collector appeared on Kevin Smith's Comic Book Men television show, attempting to sell this rare high-grade toy at the director's comic book store in New Jersey. This figure is believed to be worth $50,000 or even more because it is so rare, detailed, and in near-perfect condition. Jawa with Vinyl Cape $53,000 It may be surprising that an action figure of a character that was never anyone's favorite could fetch such an insane price, but the rarity of this figure makes it worth more than the majority of Star Wars figures. Most of the Jawa figures came with a cloth cloak, but the first figures to hit shelves had a vinyl cape. The vinyl cape version was quickly replaced, so that's why it's so rare. The figures usually sell for around $10,000 or more, but a near mint figure that was graded by the Action Figure Authority was once listed on eBay for $53,000. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so that you get every video that we upload right to your device right when it goes up. And thank you for your continued support.